I just discovered an old um, J.C. Penny Christmas catalog today um, in my basement. It is from 1994, and the one thing that, of course, really interested me in this was the old electronic gadgets, the stereos and radios and computer equipment and all that good stuff. So... Let's see if I can find the pages that it's on. Um, it starts on page 443. As you can see, these old um, cheapo sound design portable radios back in the day. Um, it was $25 on that one back then. On these, and of course they came in these girly colors too. And you could get it in regular black. And same thing with the dual speaker boom boxes. $30 doesn't really make a difference. And little personal, um, I guess a predecessor to the Sony Walkman. But <laughs> and it had, let's see, they had um, classic touch radios here. Uh, Harley Davidson radios. Uh, 1957 Chevy radios, um, old old gas pump radio, and of course the old style tabletop radios and a floor console. $190. And the the modern ones, uh, the Sony um, Dream Machine CD player slash clock radio. $120 and a cheaper Memorex uh, $100 on that one back then and uh, sound design clock radio slash telephone slash cassette player $40 back then and some more clock radios cube style clock radios slash cassette players and some kind of a York's um clock radio boombox as far as I know York's went out of business about a decade ago so and really as far as I've been alive this book here has been out I mean it's only a couple months younger than I am but and it had the um, portable CD players and the Sony Walkmans and the portable stereos Sony's and they all well, the way got down to the cheaper ones here Memorex and Sharp and some kind of an official York's um, product it's a triple cassette with play and sing with a detachable uh, cassette deck here and I know this, this light is making a glare on my uh video here there yeah that's better um more s sound design cheapo stuff tabletop stereos mm -hmm. the jc penny cheap ones hundred dollars for that plus turntable and then some more sh sound design ones and sharp jc penny magnavox and Sony and uh, rack systems, JC Penny, uh, Sony hundred or uh, uh, yeah hundred watt rack system, MCS series with turntable, uh, the old style home theaters, Sony receiver, five disc CD player, and a Except dual cassette player and an EMCS series turntable. $70 on that one. And the old uh, home theater speakers. Um, these actually look like they were pretty good speakers because I can, you can tell that um, they actually look like they have polypropylene cones on the speakers here. And they have the tweeters and the subwoofer and the center speaker. And, of course, the old um, 
dinosaur um, CRT entertainment centers, which are basically useless today. If you get rid of your CRT television. Um, more entertainment centers. Computer desks. This com- um, this computer desk here actually had a shelf for the old style um, daisy wheel printer where the, the paper was continuous and the paper actually fed through a, a little um, slit in the desk and the paper just sat on the bottom shelf there. So, And this desk over here it like really, really interested me because the printer for your computer actually had a little drawer and it worked similar to what this desk had. Same thing, the paper went through a little um, little hole or a slit and it just fed through to like a bottom shelf, so it's basically useless today. But if you have a vintage computer and a vintage daisy wheel printer, then I guess, you know, you can find something to use that for. And the old CRT televisions, the small kitchen style ones, TV and VCR combos. Um, small screen TVs, 20 inches, some Sharps, Panasonics, Magnavox, JCPenney, and the large screen TVs, and a couple of console TVs. I didn't even know they still made console TVs. I thought they stopped making them in like the late 80s. But, um, Sony Trinitron. 649 back then and the camcorders um, Sony Handycam RCA and this little sharp view cam here which is kind of a predecessor to um, the the digital camcorders that we have today because of this um, LCD that it has so. and Quasar Palm Quarters Magnavox JCPenney Tripods, VCRs, $500 back then for the Sony Hi-Fi Stereo, some more JCPenney and RCA foreheads, portable JCPenney VCR, a JCPenney 2 head, some more of the cheaper models, uh, walkie-talkies and radios, typewriters, and computers actually really caught my eye too, because um, a lot. The most expensive one was this Acer A Cross, which was seventeen hundred dollars. That came with a four eighty six DX two at fifty megahertz and a four hundred twenty meg hard drive, and it had four megabytes of RAM, expandable to thirty six megs. So, and the compact. Contora Aero with the uh, the VGA monochrome screen, which I think the monochrome was better than those um, ghosty passive matrix that they came out with. And translators and the electronic dictionaries, the old school analog cordless phones. So that's basically it for the electronics old school electronics in this uh, 1994 JCPenney Christmas catalog so thanks for watching see you next time